Okay, here we are inside. Kitchen layout's fine. You just want to do granite, new cabinet faces to make it look more modern. And then we do all new sheetrock in here on the walls and the ceiling. We do life proof flooring in here. There's not a whole lot of square footage, so it wouldn't be that big a deal money wise. Bathroom could be bigger. I just replace that with a freestanding vanity, leave the toilet where it is, remove all the stuff off the walls. And you could extend the framing on the shower out a little bit to probably here and just do yourself a custom shower. This is a shell and it's kind of small. So I just do a custom shower with glass and have Tom make the glass for us. These stairs um, are probably the biggest issue I see in this house are way too steep, not really usable for a rental. And they've got a... Uh, they got a real stove in here, which I would just take that out completely, um, the stove, and I would uh, put like a gas, a corner gas fireplace in there, or a corner electric fireplace, just something cool for the ambiance. And these doors here, I'd change this either to a single door or a sliding glass door, and frame this all the way out a little past this spot, and have the stairs come from right there to a landing and then down and this would all be inside and then you'd end up having your sliding glass doors like right here and so this would increase your square footage of the living space and push your doors out to there and so you'd walk up and then to the to the loft up top we could talk about that but i think that's probably the best solution i could come up with for those stairs this is kind of the master space right here not huge, but it's workable. You could put a king bed in here. Um, there's 80 inches there. Or you could just do a queen and have the bed kind of go like this. And face out. You would have your new window here and clean all that up and maybe do a fence along the side. But you've got a view of the lake. If you cleared some of that out, you'd even have a better view. And you do a split AC system in here. So you'd have one system down. They've got a a window unit in the wall but you could easily do a split system here and make it look really pretty there's your loft and then upstairs once you get these stairs right uh, i'd go ahead and frame that in and sheet rock it and then keep a bed probably there and then do two twin beds along the wall that would leave enough space to walk along the side you can get a whole family up here and this closet right here, if you think about moving the framing of this all the way out, you could actually add a bathroom up here, um, a small bathroom. No closet, but for a rental, you don't really need a closet for an Airbnb. So you could do another bathroom and all the plumbing would be pretty easy because it would be currently, it's just, you know, it's new framing. So you could just construct it and run it along the side of the house. So. Or maybe you just keep one bathroom and leave it as is, but that would be certainly an option up there since you'd be pushing this out, these stairs out to there. So you'd pick up, that's where that closet is. You'd pick up all of this square footage here. So that's about five and a half feet. Um, and then probably another five feet out. So you could do a nice big bathroom there. And then I'd just do, if you were gonna push all this out, I'd go ahead and tie into this patio and move it out to there and just have a nice big patio where you could actually see out and see the lake from here and that's it